Hello, hello. Long time no see, long time no talk. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a minute and I've been working very hard on the album, I promise. Um, I was actually, I have, I'm working on it right now. I was just tracking. I, I almost lost track of time because I was tracking something really quick because I got really, uh, I got suddenly like really inspired. But hello, good to see you guys again. That's a lot of people. That's 50, that's, man, that's 5,600 people in just like, like seconds. It's fucking crazy. Man, I've come a long way since the, since the, um, 100 people per life, 6,000 people. Wow. Crazy. Crazy what happens when we plan these, these things, huh? How are you guys? Just rolling. Everyone come inside, come and hang out. Hi from Australia. Korean that I can't read, but hello. New album, please. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Literally right now I'm working on it. Um, is that too, it's had too real? Yes, it's real. They're all real. Um, yeah. Crazy stuff. I like your hair. Thank you. Um, I'm growing it back out because I miss my, I miss my long hair. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Keshi at school. I mean, that's unfortunate. Good luck with school though. Love you from NYC. It's been a minute since I've been to New York. Um, I was going there pretty frequently for work, but I haven't in a, in a long time because of COVID stuff. So maybe it's about time to go back. I'm trying to go and get some ink done on my hands. So, yeah. Hi from Malaysia. Hello. Am I going to diet? No, definitely not, not again. Not because I didn't like it, but because it like killed my hair and I like it being nice and healthy. Like, coming it out was an issue. Like, I didn't realize how painful it would be, like, how tangled it would be, like, pulling those knots out. It's terrible. And I would just rip my hair out, too. It's terrible. Um, yeah, I know. I kind of dig the long hair, too. Hola to Alondra Nicolas. Um, I love you guys, too. Um, it is the one-year anniversary of Band-Aids which is so crazy to think about. Um, so when I was making Band-Aids, I was in the process of moving out of my parents' house into this house here. And um, I remember it, God, I remember it being December, uh, working on it, and I had just bought this piano. Oh shit. This piano right here behind me. And I had no idea how to play the piano. All I knew was that all I knew is that I wanted to learn how to play the piano. Like, I had been dying to learn for a long time. Like, I could, like, finagle a couple of um, chords here and there, but I couldn't actually, like, play it, you know? Um, anyhow, I bought it, and <laughs> I have stereo microphones now. I have the AKG C414, um, which are, I think, pretty popular for recording piano and other things in stereo because there's, like, stereo paired. But... I was using like a dynamic microphone, like like a like a handheld microphone, just to like capture anything. That's the microphone that you hear in band aids, and um, that's why the quality is a little bit muffled. But, anyways, I remember this room being completely bare. It was not treated at all, um, and I was writing. I was I was just here with my my setup is a little different now. I'll show you guys. Um, oh, I'm kidding. okay. Okay. Oh man, every time I minimize something, there's, there's more stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is what the setup looks like now. And uh, have an external monitor. We have the fiberglass panel in the back and everything connects out of my closet over here, which is where my laptop is. And I have a towel there because like, I don't want any noise from the fan getting out into my microphone because this thing captures everything. But I've found some plugins that really help with getting rid of that noise. Um, and I just got this, this bad boy. It's the Apollo XAP and it is, uh, my audio interface now. That's just like amazing because now I'm plugged into everything. Like this is constantly plugged in P1 
piano is constantly plugged in or not plugged in, but my mics are like always set up. This is always set up. I don't have to like worry about like unplugging or replugging anything. And I have, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, the Labo candles now because of, uh, I hung out with uh, Y2K for a session and he sold me on the candles. So yeah. Um, anyhow, so that's the setup now, but I remember when I was first making band-aids, it was just like a small little Ikea table. Oh, well, I've been using that for a while, but, um, my laptop and this piano and I had one microphone, um, and like, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it was, there was no air conditioning set up. So it was freezing. There was like, like the electricity wasn't really like, um, running in all parts of the ha Well, I mean, it was, but like the heat wasn't everywhere. Um, and like, the, oh, the water wasn't really working. So I would only come like once I was done with everything else in my day and I would come at like six or seven after I'd eaten dinner and I would just come and I would hole in here and I'll just like work on the record so fond memories and i can't believe that like it was in this room. it was like half in this room and then half um like back at the old house and then all of always was made here as well and uh yeah and right now the new album is being made like half here half in la i would say like i go to la and i meet with ely and we work and I take everything back and I try to make sense of everything we did because we're kind of just like throwing a bunch of shit at the wall. Um, so yeah. Uh, hi from Japan. Hello. Let's see. Oh, who's in the picture on the wall? Oh yeah, that's right. I have some new records. My Aries record came in. So shout out to, shout out to Aries. One of my favorite records. Um, John Mayer is over there, and we've got, we've got mine up there now, and, uh, Ginger as well. So, yeah. Hi, from Arizona. Hello. Could you tell us something about pillows and Jay? Um, what can I, what kind of trivia can I have for Pillows and Jay? Jay originally sent me the track. I'm not sure if I talked about this already. Jay originally sent me the track and um, I really felt like, like I wanted to put my spin on it. Um, so I didn't really change that much to it. Um, but I did add like sort of my like percussion ideas and I added my guitar as well. And that way it felt kind of like fertile ground for me to create on. Um, I think I'm just so used to writing over things that I've personally like produced, um, which is why this next song that's coming out um, very soon, actually, I have a song coming out very soon. I think that was part of the reason for, <laughs> for me going live that I sh am supposed to talk about. Um, I have, a, I have a song coming out soon. I'm not sure if I can say when exactly yet because I don't think the date is set. Um, James, if you're in the live, text me really quick and let me know if I can say the date. But um, it is a collaboration with someone uh, very special, but not in the sense that like it's like a feature necessarily, but um, they produced the majority of the track for me. Um, and it's sounding really fucking good. And I've made it a point to not tease anything from <laughs> anything about this album, anything about what I'm working on. I've like been trying to keep it really like under wraps. Um, as much as the instant validation is really nice, I think that you guys will appreciate it more in the long run, like in the end when you guys get the song. So yeah. Say Max. <laughs> um, the one coming out is is not with Max, but uh, Max and I wrote something really fucking cool that I'm excited for you guys to hear. Daniel's in the chat. Elijah's in the chat. What's up, boys? What's up, lads? Um, yeah, and I'm I'm kind of sad because I feel like I used to tease a lot on these lives, but I can't I can't bring myself to do it. I can't can't bring myself to do it. 
Um, yeah, I wonder if I should uh, sing a little bit. Uh, I will in a little bit. I'll uh, hang out and answer some questions first. I did learn some cool stuff from Ely, who, believe it or not, is a better guitar player than I am, a better producer than I am, and a better singer than I am, a better man than I am. He's better at everything. Dude, spoiler, I cannot. I will not. I refuse. Um, and the great thing is I don't have to worry about anyone else. Like, so the, the problem with leaking things like on a live like this is that after the fact, if I regret it, like there's no going back. There's no pulling it from like any sort of um, any platform that like reposts it. So when will I stream on Twitch again? I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch again anytime soon. But I will be on MXM Tunes Among Us stream that is happening on Friday, I believe. Yeah, Friday. So in a couple of days. So you guys should tune in for that if you guys want to get some gaming content. I feel like I've been playing the guitar a lot more recently, which isn't always the case. Um, and that's probably because I'm forced to do it in, in the sessions. It keeps me warmed up, yeah. But should probably play something from Band-Aids considering it's the anniversary. And uh, don't mind me pulling out my own lyrics. What's, what's y'all's favorite song from Band-Aids? What is my favorite song from Band-Aids? It used to be alright. I've fallen out of love with it. Um, I think my favorite song is now... Damn. It's so hard to pick a favorite, honestly. It's say, I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be right here, right? Which is so funny to me. Cause I like really didn't want to have it out at first. Um. I think some words are overdue. Can we just do it over? Can we just talk it out with friends? Because I need your shoulder. I know we ended on the wrong terms But I said we're best So why are you texting me with questions? You don't gotta ask me right I know it's random how you been Do you remember about his band? You said you listened to when we were younger We were softer We were all about each other Hope life is treating you better, better, better. What's with that? Cut the eye. Cause I don't got time for laughs. I do not want the past. But if you are ever in need, and God has you down on your knees, that you do not know who to be, then go on and come home to me. You like that? Change up the chord a little bit. It's not supposed to be, it's supposed to mm, here. But I went here. Same thing. Not the same, not the same chord, but same effect. Ely got me into substitutions a lot, so.
So, yeah. That's a song that is not out yet. Mm. I've been really into... Um, that's right. I haven't... I've told this story a lot, but I haven't talked about it to you guys recently. I've been listening to a lot of music that I don't usually listen to. Um, and I've gone particularly hooked on the Beatles, on Abbey Road specifically. Um, and just their songwriting in general. Like, I had never really delved into them that deep. So, the, I mean, the thing is, you hear their influences in, like, music everywhere. There's so, like, it, it reaches so far, just in the anatomy of chords and melodies. So it's really cool to be able to go back into it and be like, oh, like, you know, that's how they used it. Um, so I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. So that's their sensibility. Um, uh, I always like to like... Did I learn this by ear? No, I didn't. I learned this a long time ago and I was like, I was probably like, fuck, like 14 or 15. I feel like it's a great song to learn um, on the guitar because it teaches you the foundations of like chords within a key and like uh, one, four, five, because you're in G. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Back to the one, so. Like, on the fretboard, it's really easy to understand, like, what's major, what's minor, like, if it's a big gap or a small gap, and then you just kind of, like... the rest so it's just a good fundamental song to learn blackbird is um yeah and it's no secret that my favorite song is um No, don't go. I have bad connection. Yeah. Um, that one's a really great one for learning, like, rhythm. I had a friend ask me the other day, like, like what was the secret to, like, um, how I play guitar? And it, a lot of it's in this hand right here. It's not in this one. Ely's here! Ely, will you go live with me? I'm gonna request it. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Ely Risk. Is, um, spearheading the production on the album, so you guys should familiarize yourself with them. Hold on, there we go. I just sent him a request, you guys get to meet him.
my room is so yellow. It's it's actually a lime. It's like a it's like a lime green. I'm not a fan of it. It's just kind of how the house was uh, set up. So Ely Ely the bear is unable to join. Got me fucked up, bro. <laughs> That's okay. We'll do it another time when we're together in LA. So I will be heading back to LA in a couple of weeks to um, go see Ely again, specifically Ely again, and uh, hash some more ideas out for you guys. And uh, it'll be it'll be great. I'm really excited. I've I've finally gotten used. I've finally gotten used to um, being in a recording studio, and like. I'm really pr proud of having been able to do that. There we go. Um, yeah, I feel like the I've never really known how to make use of all that was at my disposal, but um, with Ely there, it makes it really simple. All I have to do is like focus on the performance aspect and everything. A worm? You didn't post videos on TikTok again. I did for a lot of the beginning of the trip. Um, but near like the middle of it, I was more focused on getting ideas out for the album. So I didn't focus on it as much as I, as I usually do. So that's my bad. Um, were you only influenced by Abbey Road while doing this album? I'm influenced by a lot of things during this album. I think there's a lot of different sounds um, that I'm trying to, trying to get to here. Um, some of them new, some of them old, um, you know, so yeah. Where's my necklace? Uh, it's in my bedroom. I don't, I'm not always wearing it. Did you get any tattoos? No, I didn't get any tattoos. They're the same ones that I always, same ones that I always have, but I want more. And, uh, hopefully I will, uh, yeah, get some, get them soon. Um, so yeah. Okay, I've gotten confirmation. I can talk about when the song is releasing. It's coming out in April, um, and uh, it is produced by uh, Madion. And if you guys don't know who Madion is, he is an incredibly talented uh, DJ, producer, singer, songwriter, artist, and the song sounds amazing and excited to get it mixed and mastered and out for you guys. So, yeah. Should be, should be really cool. I have it right here. In fact, I'm gonna listen to it after this live is done. <laughs> and yeah, April drop. So very soon, very soon, like, like very fucking soon. But I will I will hold off on the date because that can be fluid sometimes and I don't want to lie to you guys. So yeah. Can I sing a little bit of it? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until uh I'm gonna wait until everything is uh out studio version first. So yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And it sucks. All the comments are about spoiling something. I'm not about to leak my own shit. How about the chords? No, no, nothing. Sorry. But for now, we'll just hang out, you know? What have you guys been doing recently? I've been playing a lot of Valorant with my boys. I, I feel like I really want to get a game laptop just so I can play with them when I'm in LA. But um, I feel like I'm so busy when I'm out there. I, I, I don't have the time. Is it coming mid-April? Yes, it's pretty much smack dab in the mid of, middle of April. Um, let's see. Damn, I literally have the project up. Ely, I have, I have Get It Up. I'm redoing the vocals for it. 
and it's sounding really fucking good. If he's still there. Do I play Genshin? No, I didn't. I don't really play that much Genshin. Have I eaten? I have not eaten, but do not worry. I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to be very on top of my eating. Um, it's very, very hard for me to gain weight, so I need to like make sure that I'm eating all the time, basically. Um, what happens to my hair? It's gone. You're you're late. We didn't know about the hair. I'm good. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling excited about the new music, but um, I wish I didn't have to travel so damn much because I feel like this room is like so, it's got everything. Like I've got little plants now. Look at my little plants. Got my interface set up, got my whole rig. I mean, this is so great for if I wanted to be by myself, but um, I need, I need to, I need to, uh, to go and just like collaborate with people, you know, just so important right now for me anyways. Um, so yeah. Where have I been? I've been in LA. What's my favorite color? It's red. Maybe like a scarlet red. Maybe like maybe like this red. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you guys don't get to see like I never really wore like sleeveless sh shirts. So like you guys have never gotten to see like this one right here. But this is like my favorite one. Oh hey, my cousin's in here. What's up, Derek? Do I plan on getting more plants? Those are not real plants. They're fake plants. They're definitely fake. I actually can't stand like, um, like having real plants in the house because they attract bugs, and I'm just not about it. Um, my dad's really into it. That Quinn's in here too. I have all the homies in here tonight. What's up? Name your dream collab. Man. I don't even want a collaboration at this point, dude. I just I just want Dean to release new music. <laughs> I'm starving. Y'all think y'all think you guys are starving? You're not starving. <laughs> yeah. Um do I have dogs? No. The dog that is mine, his name is Jack, and he's a Jack Russell Terry. He's at my parents' house and um he's living it up over there. Speak Thai. I can't. I'm. I'm sorry that I can't. I um. I can't speak Thai. But my name is Thai. Not my name is literally Thai. Like that is my. That is my my middle name. Any new plans for springtime? Work on the rec. Work on the record. Everything is just focused on working on the record. Like, honestly. Yeah. I haven't eaten it yet. Yeah, I know. We should both both probably go and eat it pretty soon. I want to show you this. What I was playing earlier. Oh, shit. Uh. So this is something new I learned. And I think it's called a four over five chord. And it is a great substitution for the, for the five, I think, right? If you, yeah, substitution for the five. So if you go G, two, it's got like a nice dissonant quality to it. And part of the new thing that I've been learning here. Yeah.
And uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you play anything else? No, I play the same chords over and over again. Um, no, I pretty much stick to my stringed instruments. I, I play, like, I sort of know the piano, but like, I leave that to like other, to other more talented parties. I did get this recently though, this is pretty sick. Well, Ethan asked a pretty good question. Let's see. You ever think about listening to slash learning jazz standards? Yeah. Um, I think there, I feel like jazz gets like, um, there's like such a barrier to entry in terms of learning it. Um, I, I did try learning a couple of standards on the piano though. And it was fun, but my goal in learning things is so that I can like dissect it and utilize like what I've learned in, to my own music. And it's just really hard to do that with jazz because there's so many different movements, modulations, key changes. And they use different voicings for the same chords in order to create a different sort of tension. And uh, I can't, I can't, I can't remember it all. <laughs> yeah. You like how different artists take. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, it, it, it's interesting. It really is. How do you get better at guitar when you feel like you've plateaued? Uh, same, I'm on the same journey. I'm on the same journey as you. I feel like I've plateaued and it's not like there's not any more for me to learn. It's just like a, there's a certain point where you're just like, you know enough and you don't want to take the effort out to like learn anymore. So yeah. Um, this is not a ukulele, this is a guitar ukulele. Um, so it has six strings and it's great for if you just want to kind of like vibe out. Um, mine's not exactly like, like warmed up, or it's worn in. It's not exactly worn in yet because I've been gone so long. So yeah. What is my favorite song right now? The new Brockhampton track that just dropped. After this live, everyone needs to go and listen to the new Brock and the track because it's fucking nuts. But, uh, do you watch Attack on Titan? This is a conversation that I can have a lot of fun talking about because, yes, I'm watching it now. Um, I remember, damn, I remember when that shit was coming out when I was in, when I was in high school. I was, um, I was a senior in high school and season one was airing. And uh, shit is so nuts right now. I have no idea how they're going to end it in the next episode. There's got to be a movie, right? There's got to be a movie, right? I'm not, I'm not like reading the manga or anything, but uh, I should probably stop talking about it unless I'd be spoiled. That'd be really, that'd be really sad. I'm doing you for this AT conversation. <laughs> yeah. Send me a message, Ethan. Shits is so fucking wild. You guys, if you guys are not watching it, like, I don't understand why you wouldn't be watching it. It's like the greatest, it's like the greatest show that I'm watching right now. It's so nuts. Ely is like adamant on not watching it. He's like not sold on the art style. He's tripping though. Daniel Lyons binged Jujutsu Kaisen last week. Okay, look. I'm like not sold on Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, it is like, it is, I think it's okay. I don't know. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I watched, I watched a few episodes. I was like, ah. it reminds me of uh, Noragami, but, uh, friends. <laughs> my bad. If I hurt anyone's feelings about that, that's my bad. You can cancel me now. Um, Blocked and reported. Damn. That's harsh. Terrible. 
Um, you know what I'm finally watch or finally reading? I'm finally reading uh, Kaguya because Maya and I just watched the second season. I I had seen it already, but I never really wanted to go back and read the manga. But um, I'm catching up. Like today, the whole day, I was just reading manga, um, and it was uh, it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's really fucking funny. <laughs> My Jaeger is, yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a live be for like a couple or more minutes and uh, get in all the the last questions there. Wait, I saw a question that said. Oh, whatever. Do you produce in Logic or Ableton? I produce in Logic. Um, it just makes the most sense for me, personally. I really like Logic. I think it's awesome. Um, and my apologies if I'm not singing as much today. I, uh, <laughs> I got sick the other day. Um, not like, not like <clears throat> sick, like the other kind of sick. And like, my throat is like bruised. Like it, it feels like it's sore. It's, it's like um, second day of recovery. Hopefully I'm like back to baseline tomorrow and I can like do all, all of my vocal stuff. Like I usually can. Um, so yeah. I hope you're well every day. Thank you. I hope everyone else is well every day. I hope everyone's safe and everything too. Make sure to eat something soon. I'll probably go and eat right now, actually. Have I heard Justin's new album? Yes, I listened through the whole thing. Peaches is my favorite. Ghost is a close second. Um, and I think Too Much is like an awesome song too. Like a really cool melodically. For an intro song so uh yeah good seeing you guys good catching up and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the new track that's coming out next month so all right bye guys love you